Do you have an eBay account? Do you want to keep it out of the hands of unwelcome users? Stay tuned and I will show you how to do just that. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we will talk about protecting your eBay account with two-factor authentication. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information for any items mentioned in this episode. There are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now, here's what we're going to cover. We're going to go over how to set up SMS or texting of the two-factor authentication token in eBay. Then we will go over setting up the software token. Let's get started. Okay, we're already on the eBay website and have logged in so you'll go into your account settings page and click on sign in and security you will go down to two-step verification oh by the way since they do have this prominently on their their web page make sure you go through secret questions option because that's going to give you yet some other ways to recover your account just to be on the safe side you really can't be too careful on some of these because if you do elect not to do this you may never get into your account again or at least not without some serious groveling to ebay and even then that may not do it so we'll go down here to two-step verification we will go do the text message to verify your number i've already entered it as a part of my profile so we will click send here shortly i should have the token on here and through the magic of technology i do so we will enter that number on to the ebay web page i just laid the phone down sorry about that one so we will enter that here that is 288575 and we will say verify if for some reason you don't get the code on a timely basis then you can go through and click on the recent code but since we did get it click verify it wants to verify my email okay send code all right now that was a that was unusual that it did a double verification but that is a good thing so let's go switch over here. so let's go here and 283075 and we'll go back over here and verify okay now it's happy and you can go on and start shopping so you can spend all that money that you hadn't planned to for a while and keep going so anyway we've got sms set up you see what's involved so now we'll go on to setting up ebay's version of software token two-factor authentication when you're setting up that new account for the smart home cloud service or device, please get a copy of my smart home device account checklist you see here on the screen. This will help make sure that everything gets written down that you entered to get that account created. The form will also serve as a backup copy when you get this entered into your password manager app. And if you're not already using a password manager app, please get one now and get started. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. Okay, we've gotten back into the eBay website and we're back under two-step authentication. So I'm going to go and leave text messaging turned on since it looks like you can stack options, which is good. It's always nice to have a, a secondary option. So we'll click on Get Started on using the eBay app. It tells you what to do in terms of using it. It's, okay, it's a little different than what I thought, but that's fine. So let's go here under eBay and I'll walk. Well, I can't let's see case eBay setting sign in two-step verification signing in tap on two-step verification. We will select that. We will go through and enter in the account information. Okay, and sign in. So it should be happy now. Okay, they've just sent me a text code. So now let's switch back over here and 032196. So we'll go back here. 
032196. And we'll tap sign in. And okay, so you it, it does force you to switch over. We're going to say yes to using eBay Verify. So we're going to now say continue. All right, we will go out here, sign out. And we'll say sign in again. So it was, it would been nice if they would have given the option to allow you to have both of them, but that may be something they just didn't want to do at this point. Enter in here and we'll click sign in. So they're sending a notification, which, ah, here we go now. So it says sign in initiation, please tap approve or deny. Now, if we go back over here, we've signed in as our folks in Britain would say, and Bob's your uncle. So really that couldn't be that much harder to, to set up. So you've got both options. And if you are a significant purchaser or seller on eBay, you've probably got the smartphone anyway. So I can see why eBay would have taken that approach. And again, their choice, at least they're offering you two different options. Hopefully one day you'll be able to stack options so you can have both if you want to and just be able to switch between them. But as they say, time will tell, but at least they gave you two options. If you're watching this on YouTube and you probably are at this point, you're going to see videos on the screen that are similar to the one that you're watching now or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.